Hello? Hello? Do we have sound now? Okay, awesome. Hi everyone, welcome back to Make Stuff Monday. This is the... No faith. This is the bajillionth episode of Make Stuff Monday. This is the very special post SDCC edition. Woo. Um, I sound a lot happier and less tired than I am. And I've got a big giant cup of coffee. Eh. And that is how I am living my life right now from coffee cup to coffee cup. That is how I live my life this weekend, and this is how I will be living the rest of my week. That being said, like we're going to be drawing more stuff today. So what are we drawing today, Dragonlark? Uh, the Dungeons and Dragonlarks character. Woo! What you don't see in the background, it's like back over here. A mysterious buttercup has appeared. It's a rare spawn, so use those Pokeballs. <laughs> Alright, so uh, what? Which, which one are we drawing today? Is it um, on the forum somewhere? There should be... Veritas drew, like, the kind of, like, paintings of them, but we needed the sketches like you did for before. Like the portrait sketches? Yes. Okay. Um, this is me scrolling. I don't remember <laughs> where we put this. It was in... Yes. I hope she put them there. Um... Is it... Is it, is it here? Is it this thread? Yes. That is the one. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So, so the new that one, and we you want uh, me to do this one? Hobbled out as well. So that's. Um, Let's do whoever this is. That's Turfing's there's... character, Shen. Turfing's character. Um, and he's like a untrustworthy rogue. Untrustworthy rogue. That looks like that. <laughs> like this. Got it. Uh. Alright, so, oh god, I forget I can't move this because it's actually using it for OPS. Whoops. Alright, let's roll. Um, untrustworthy rogue. There's no other, there's nothing else? It looks like that. It, I mean, yeah, it looks like that. <laughs> um, he's, he's killed more people than anyone else in the campaign. Um, there is a part of our campaign last, week before last, people. where these people were kind of like, um, hypnotized and they were like each staring at a different corner of the room and he went behind them and just stabbed them in the back while no one else was in the room because he knew wow. they'd stop him. So he just went to each one individually and stabbed them to death. Wow. Oh. So if you want to like... Sounds lovely. He's terrified of spiders. I don't I don't really know what, what you look for. <laughs> I already know what his eyebrows are going to look like. He's going to be doing... Yeah. <laughs> He's got the raised eyebrow. Because how can... All, all untrustworthy rogues have raised eyebrows, this is what I've decided. So how was your weekend, ladies? I hope it was not nearly as sweaty as mine. <laughs> it was pretty sweaty, man. It was still pretty hot up here. Yeah. Did yard work. Whoa. All of my Pokemon plans fell apart. I'm so sorry. <sighs> it was very depressing. Also, I first of all, I like to preface this by saying I love animals. I love dogs. They're so cute. But when they decide they're going to wake you up every morning at like 5 o'clock in the morning by barking under your window, there's just something less charming about them than... Under your window. Yeah, I'm just like, what are you barking at? There's nothing there. I think they're actually just trying to wake me up. I don't know why they do this. Animals do that. They so. want to talk to you. Hey. 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 And then I let hey. the dog in my room, and it immediately jumped on the bed and attempted to, to eat my comforter. Eat? And I'm like, no, you're so... It's like one of those little, like, like poodle mixes, too. It's like this little adorable dog that just, like, wobbles when it walks. And I'm like, why are you doing this? Like, I thought we were friends. We were buddies. No. Nope. You betrayed me. All weekend you betrayed me. Can you hand me that eraser? I can't. You can't? <laughs> <laughs> Is this what our world has come to you? Just, I can't. Uh, I can't hand erase just the people who got to go to Comic-Con. <laughs> I tried to get you a Supernatural bag, woman. I failed. So nice of you. But I tried. If I had gotten it, it would have been real. yours. <laughs> the bag or the or the thoughts? Yes. Yes? <laughs> no, but seriously, it kind of sucks because when they give you the, you know, the big bags that you get for, um, just like pick up with all the books and stuff, mm -hmm. like the schedule, they give it to you 
all folded up around the schedule. Uh-huh. So you don't know which one you get until you actually open it up. Surprise! And they won't let you trade them out. Aww. And I understand because it's like, this con has like thousands yeah. of people. But at the same time, I needed that goddamn bag! <laughs> there was a little bit of rage. Just a, just a little bit. Tell. I haven't even caught up on all the stuff that happened at Comic Con. What would you like to know? I mean, not that I actually saw a lot of it. I look at a lot of the Marvel stuff. Like I'm hugely obsessed. I watched like all those trailers. I haven't watched all of them. I watched Luke Cage, and I watched oh the Defenders one, and am I missing something? There was like a montage of like Jessica Jones yeah. and Daredevil and Luke Cage. I haven't watched Iron Jessica Fist. Jones. Oh yeah, I saw that. I don't know how I feel about that, but we'll see. Didn't we'll they see. make Iron Fist like not not Asian? And Asian. props yeah. to the folks working on Wonder Woman because that was probably the that best really trailer I saw. Yeah, that was a really good one. I'm I'm very cautiously hopeful. You know what, actually, I really like the trailer for the Justice League, which was, I don't know what kind of order they're doing their movies in. I really wish that they had done Wonder Woman before they did Batman vs. Superman, yeah. because I feel like that would have helped set up I feel like it wouldn't have story. felt like she was just tacked on. Like, I watched the Honest trailer for Batman vs. Superman, and they kind of mentioned, they're like, oh, Wonder Woman was awesome. Sorry if that seems tacked on, but, you know, that's how she was in the movie. And that's how I totally felt with her in the movie. I was like, she had really awesome scenes, but I'm like, and then she's just there. Like, she didn't seem part of the story at all, you know? Like, she just happened to be an awesome character that was there, but there was no, like, she wasn't, like, involved. So it was difficult to care about her character, because I'm like, yeah, you're awesome, I care about you because I know you from other stuff, but if this was my introduction to you, I'd be like, what are you doing here? Who are you? I never watched that movie. People have told me that, hmm, don't really need to watch that movie. That my version yeah, Superman. Yeah, it seems kind of back and forth of whether or not it did something to actually invest time in. Surprisingly, uh, Ben Affleck is amazing. Really? I don't even like him. That's what I heard, amazing. but I'm still just like, meh. It was just neat to see an older Batman, because every time they do Batman, he's like younger somehow. And, like, he's always, like, just... They never have, like, the old grizzled kind of, like... And he the experienced getting, one. Yeah. The one who's been The one that's getting kind of murdery because he's been doing this for a while, and he's just, like, done with everything. <laughs> he's also much more detective-y than, like... That's which cool. Which is cool, because... I feel like a lot of people play... Because he's a fucking human. Sorry. Because he's a human. Yeah, no. It's Monday. You can say that. Oh, yeah. Because he's not, like, a... He's not a mutant or anything. No, that's why this rendition was, like, really cool. I mean, I would have liked it without Superman being in it. <laughs> but he was, so there was no way of saving it. Um, there was no way of saving it. <laughs> no, there was, like, the, the turnaround, I was so dumb. I just, I can't even. But I'm hopeful that Wonder Woman's gonna be good. I also really want, I don't, they're doing a Justice League movie before they do an Aquaman movie. I thought they were working on that first. Like, I thought the I Aquaman understand. movie was supposed to come out first. So did I. But there Which is kind of disappointing, because you know what? Jason Momoa. I know, it's so funny, because I could care less about Aquaman, and I'm so but excited Jason that Momoa. movie, because I'm like, you're amazing. He's like such a you great guy, amazing. though, too. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful, beautiful man. He is a beautiful man. I'm like, you are the only thing that could save Aquaman. <laughs> you. That's actually true. I like that they didn't, like, force him to be, like, blonde and blue-eyed. And... Oh, yeah, no. He's, he's, he was my favorite part about the Justice League trailer thing. I was like, I don't even care about the Flash. I just who I was is like one of my more favorite DC characters. But because I was like, but Aquaman. Mm-hmm. Like it's those it's scenes with like, just the water crashing around him, and I was just like, this is gonna be amazing. If they mess this up, I will cry, and then I'll never talk to them again. <laughs> and you'll never talk to them again. <laughs> I'll never talk to them again. Do do you talk to them a lot? <sighs> It's Monday, and I don't appreciate this. Uh, it's Monday, and I loved you enough to think about you. Oh, that's nice. Let's think about that, huh? So last week, I realized that I should draw the monsters in Dungeons & Dragon Larks. You should. 
So that's what I've been doing. We should just have we should just turn this into like a little actual like sketchbook and like put it together and I have like yellow page faded pages and whatnot. This was my favorite one. This is supposed to be like this deadly monster. It's like this one eyed like deadly monster that um like it's basically someone who has become so invested in like magic that it corrupted them and like turned them into this kind of like they kind of the, the Nothic, the image they show in the book of the Nothic is like this like it's kind of like scraggly with like long claws and this one creepy eye and like wrinkles everywhere you know and I was just like I'm gonna put him in a giant sweater and a <laughs> scarf and like when they encountered him he was like do you like my scarf I made it myself was the right answer yes? Was there a right answer? Yeah, there was. They had to pass a trial of, like, like trivia questions, and, like, they had to pass tests to get past him, and one was, like, what are you thinking right now? And then, like, another one was, like, they had to dance, and they had, like, a roll to see what their dance was, and then... Did they actually dance? Did the people actually dance? I should have, but no. Aww, <laughs> opportunities! I feel like if it was like I feel like I feel like I shouldn't like make my coworkers hate me. <laughs> I think you should do it anyway because guess what? They're gonna work with you anyway. I can just imagine what their facial expressions would have changed to if I'd say it now dance or like now sing like because they were singing and dancing. So it's just like if they were real troopers. They would have just gone with it. And I floored them. I was like, if you see a dragon, like, run, because I'm in charge of this campaign, so your it's chances gonna... of defeating the dragon are pretty much impossible. Because dragons are the best, and they're undefeatable. All of them. That's... They can't see me, but I'm rolling my eyes and sighing. I'm sure they can hear it. Hear the sound of you rolling your eyes. My eyes are kind of, you know... Loud when they roll. Also, Cam has been sending me links to terrifying monsters to add that will make the campaign more difficult for those participating. I was like, oh my gosh, what is this? I think he just wants everyone else to suffer. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> so funny. He said like this link to this monster was only like one of them in the entire world or something. It's like this super evil thing. I'm like, that's cool. And now it exists in the game. It is like chaotic yeah, neutral. I don't remember. I like how I got a chance to glance at it, but it looks cool. Dragon Lord just wants people to suffer. I haven't let any of them die yet. Yet. Do you hear that? Yet. It's qualified. Actually, last week, Shen came really close, though. He got below his hit points. Someone had to save him. Did did someone save him? Yes. Oh, that's a shame. Over John's protest, someone saved him. <laughs> Why was John protesting? Because Shen's running around murdering people left and right, and John's character is like a... John's a character says no. good character, so he's just like, uh, does not like. I think I got time for this shit. I feel like if I was playing one of these games, though, I really just want to be one extreme or the other. Like, just completely, like, batshit crazy evil. Or, like, super good, like, to the point where I allowed, like, no lying or cursing or, like... I would just, like, my character would just be, like, offended by every single thing they came across. Just. <laughs> Even the, the nose switch, like, buddies do. <laughs> Shame we don't have face cam today, but. Uh, you missed it, guys. Uh... Alright, I think I'm gonna. Here, I'm gonna don't show it on the screen because I don't want anyone else to see that I'm gonna show Buttercup. This is what next week's giant boss monster is gonna be. Originally, the boss in the in the book is like this <laughs> this like terrible like mage creature. Although I don't think they actually but anyways, but this is what I've replaced it with. So terrifying. Yeah. Shocking and terrifying. Great. And this is another thing that's going to come across next week or this week. Ooh. So. That looks cool. Yeah. I think they're gonna actually get through the manor. It's difficult. They get stuck on things like, um, moral choices. 
You know, that's actually a normal thing to get stuck no, on, great, and yeah. is actually something people should get stuck on. We should stop after they get to the end of this, but I don't know. I like how his pose has gone from, like, kind of whatever to come at me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Is this, that is this sounds okay? about, Is that accurate? It sounds like you're having some influence on the uh, image there, Jello. <laughs> Come at me, bro. I think she said it's okay, so it's okay. Come at me now, bro. Oh God, why did I decide to do this? I don't know. Cause uh, yeah. So the coolest cosplay I saw was there was this beautiful Amazonian, literally Amazonian Wonder Woman. Like the bottom of her bust was at my forehead. Think about how much taller she is than me. She was huge and beautiful and strong looking and I'm just like, I love you. And I wish you weren't walking away and I was walking to somewhere because I would just be like, please let me take your picture. <laughs> Yeah, she was completely, like, she was perfect. Absolutely perfect. Also, we played a game of, uh, if we had to take a shot for every Harley Quinn we saw, we'd be dead. <laughs> like, we would literally... Man, that's so, like, I mean, that's cool, but it's also, like, man, I remember when Harley Quinn was kind of, like, a fun, like, niche character. Yeah. And you could get away with doing that, and now it's just like, there's too, there's too many. There's just too many. What I found out what's awesome was uh, the current voice actor of Harley Quinn is Tara Strong, who took over from Arlene Sorkin for the Arkham, like the Arkham series, the game series. Mm -hmm. And she dressed up as Harley, and nobody knew it was her. And I just want to know, because I know she would do, she's weird enough to do the voice when she would talk to people. And if people would be like, what? Wait. Man, this girl's good! They'd be like, why aren't you doing the voiceover on the series? <laughs> and then she'd be like... <laughs> <laughs> be like I when am. Brian Cranston wore the mask of, yes. of uh, Walter White. Yes. I'm about 90% certain I saw Adam Savage while he was in one of his costumes. Two mm -hmm. of his costumes. Supposedly he was walking around as, as Kylo Ren. And mm -hmm. I saw a fully suited Kylo Ren there. And then, um, I, do you remember a few years back he did, uh, he did the No Face from Spirited Away? I saw that outfit again, too, and mm. he was giving out chocolates. I'm like, oh my god, that's probably Adam Savage! <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot of screaming this weekend, in case, in case you, you were wondering. Me? Screaming? screaming? No, never. I'm far too dignified for that. But it was, a, uh, it was incredible. It and, oh, really, really overwhelming. Comic-Con was, like, I loved it, but it was also, like, by day four, I'm just like, can I, I kind of want to go home and, <laughs> like, be in my own bed, because I was crashing at a friend's place the entire weekend. And, yeah, it was, it was really interesting. I didn't see, I think... The one celebrity I saw, I'm pretty sure it was the guy who played Blaine on Glee. Because we just, like, I pass him in the hall, I'm like, that guy looks really familiar! And then, a couple beats later, oh my god, I think he's yeah, right! And by that time, he was, like, long gone, and I'm like, well, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> there goes that opportunity. There goes my... I'm just gonna make up monsters. That's completely acceptable. And I have never seen so many lured Pokestops in my entire life. Never seen what? So many lured Pokestops in my entire life. <laughs> the Pokemon panel was actually a blast. I mean, people were disappointed, like, oh man, they didn't give out a legendary, even though that was just a rumor. But the guy speaking was a real smart guy and Chris Hardwick was moderating and he did a great job even though he picked the wrong team but you know no one's perfect no one's perfect
no one's perfect. I could forgive him. <laughs> what was worse is that the creator was like, I have team instinct. And everybody's like, boo! <laughs> it was so funny. Like, the first thing Chris Chris Hardwick does when he gets on stage, he's like, something, 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 team, team mystic. And, every, and the team mystic people are like, yeah! And then followed quickly followed by the other two factions. <gasps> boo! <laughs> it was a lot of cheering and booing. And instead of being like, hey, 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 now none of that, like, calm down children he goes you know it's really great to be able to see people who are this passionate about the game that they're they're willing to heckle each other and you know it's all in good fun and i only hope that people aren't taking it like too too seriously but it's fun to have a team though it's fun to have like that automatic kind of camaraderie with with people we almost got into a fight with people on the trolley (laughs) Because the trolley passes by a lot of gyms and Pokestops, and then one of the gyms went down. And I'm like, yeah, the gym went down! And then and then three people turn around, and they're like, did you just take the blue gym that was just by? I'm like, no. Why, what team are you on? And they're like, we're on Team Mystic, what team are you on? Team Valor, and we all just had a staring match for like five minutes on the trolley. It was awesome. And then, and then I think, I think Tim, Team Instinct took a gym, and we're like, this is not okay! <laughs> They're not allowed to have gyms? <sighs> My brother's on Team Instinct. And I'm like, Your brother's wrong. I know. Uh, nobody's perfect. Um, I guess he's still your family. But... <laughs> I guess he's still your family. And I guess you can still love him, but... You know, I think sh- my dad's gonna choose Team Instinct because he's been hanging out with my brother, so I was like, dang it. You should. Whatever. I really like the uh, the the gym leader portraits they came out with. Yes. I really I like, like I like right Valor's. Team. Yeah. I want her coat. Like I just want her coat. It's so that's cute. That's that's why I chose Valor initially because I was like I like her silhouette the best. So. That's not a bad reason. Also, they have I. Uh, I feel like philosophy wise I'm probably more in line with Team Mystic personality wise definitely Valor because every single Valor person seems to be like this crazy crazy person and that's okay I love it for that that's okay (laughs) yeah it's okay but uh What the heck I'm drawing? It doesn't matter. I'll be back. I drink too much coffee. Get out of here. So this Sturge monster uh-huh. is supposed to be in the game at some point, and I was like, I don't like it, so I drew this instead. <laughs> and I don't really understand what it is, but I'm like, same difference. It's fine. It's fine. It's the same thing. And there's going to be hordes of these things, like millions oh my of god. them are going to fly into the air. Oh my god. They should make a meep noise. Meep. Meep. Only mildly crazy? No, we're all insane on Team Valor. We believe in 3 a.m. Pokewalks. I haven't done that in a while. There I am living in. Someone got, like, stabbed or something. So I'm like, and no. I did that the first day it came out, though. I was like, I'm gonna go down the street and find this Pokestop, and it was like super dark and creepy, and I was like, oh, this was a terrible idea. <laughs> you mean the best but idea? I've gone too far to turn back now. That's so. true. I got two back to back Clefairies while I was down in San Diego. I don't want to talk to you. I did catch a Clefairy though recently, so. Oh, my, my Vulpix evolved. Nice! I evolved like a bunch of stuff this weekend. It was actually not horrible waiting in line because focus ops are everywhere and they're constantly lured. So that was very ple- it made it made it bearable. bearable. It still sucked, but you know. It's a little bit better. Alright, what else do I need? Uh, How do I make a cool cute? Heart shaped eyes. Also, I hatched a seal this weekend, too. Oh, well, that's cool. Which is completely rad. So the whole... So, it 
it was confirmed that the Pokemon spawn regionally uh-huh. based on where that Pokemon would probably be found. Mm-hmm. But that still doesn't explain the magic card that just flopped around in the office that one day. <laughs> yeah. But then I guess it's magic card and I guess. Also their Pokemon radar is super broken. Yeah, it's super broken. Like it it'll show things that aren't there. Yeah. Or it won't show things that are there. But yeah, it was actually nice. Like the game wasn't like going down that much over the course of the weekend. It wasn't as bad as where in the previous week where I was in Vegas for Evolution, where I couldn't get Jack Squat because the game was constantly down. Does it sound now? Still bad? Still awful? Um, uh, I restarted. it sound better? Anyone? Talk to me. Talk to me, baby. Please, please let us know. But yeah, you know, like, the other thing is, it's like, where are all the workers, like, that should be in these kind of, like, high traffic areas that... Because when the guy goes around showing this video, it's not like, oh, it's just the one person, like, they're kind of... It's all of them. It's a bunch of people doing this, and it's like, okay, do they not have enough staff for a park this size? Like, why are they also not policing this? Yeah. So it's kind of it's kind of interesting on, on that front, too. It's like, alright, so... Like, people will be terrible people if you give them the opportunity to, and that's, that's pretty, like, it doesn't matter where you're from. Mm-hmm. But, like, why are you not... It's like, it seems like they're not doing anything to, to, uh, curb that. I didn't mean to get, like, all, like, preachy and soapboxy. It was just a really, it was just a really interesting video I watched. I'm like, wow, okay. Um, that's going on the list of Disney parks I'm never, never visiting, which sucks because they have a lot of cool new tech at that park that I would love to see, but I would not like to see it until, you know. People are using the restrooms accordingly. <laughs> People are using the restrooms accordingly. Sorry, I have I have issues <laughs> with that not happening. Alright, so here's Turfing's character. This is about as 
as done as it's getting. And he's got, he's definitely got the come at me bro arms, as you can see. Come at me bro, come at, I'm gonna make him say, I'm gonna make him say it. He can't stop me. But he gets this nifty little speech bubble. At me, bro. Comic books are cool, guys. Comic books are cool. I couldn't go to Comic Con, but I went to my comic book store and I got some comic books. Because I needed to quell that need <laughs> a little. I'm very entertained by the picture I've drawn. Come at me, bro. Yeah. Come at me, yeah, bro. Come at me, bro. Oh, that's very awesome. So, what's his name? Shen. Shen, S-H-I-N? S-H-E-N. Say the cool children. Cool. Cool. Oh. Google children. Google children. Google children. Google. Be so much smart. There's children. not enough eyebrow scarring on that character. Needs more eyebrows. Uh, more eyebrow. I realize it. I kind. I feel. I don't know if it's just like because I've seen a lot of Dragon Ball this weekend. Hmm. He's got like total Dragon Ball hair. I've given him Dragon Ball hair for some reason. He does a little bit. Shh. It's okay. I'm just gonna give him this Dragon Ball aura in the background. Don't casually. Just don't mind him. It's over nine thousand. Yeah. I feel like I know this guy. I feel like I've drawn someone right now. Which kind of confuses me. Okay. So I guess the next one will be Haveldad. Oh, this one actually comes with the description. I like it. Alright. Haveldad, yada yada. Noble House. Elf on a quest for enlightenment. A druid. I feel like the white balance is weird very off on this camera. Let me fix that. I think it's just that screen. You think so? Yeah. Try, try moving it to the other screen. Huh. Huh. <laughs> it's like it's like two different, completely different colors. Yep. Now you know how wonderful it is to, like, edit on there. Okay, let's see. Ha! Huh. Noble Elf. Noble High Elf. Druid Friend. Okay. Druid friend, druid friend. I had a thought. I had a great thought. Now it's gone. You had a great thought. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> I'm gonna start playing videos of sharks. Wow, that that got real dark. Yeah, yeah, it did. Wow. Yeah. I don't. I don't think I deserved that though. 
I, there, there are many things I deserve, and that, that wasn't one of them. You're right. I'm sorry. I took it too far. <laughs> can we just can we just hug and make up now? Okay. <laughs> a crate a crate thought. Yes, a crate thought. Um, dang. Oh man. I know I'm like referencing something in my head when I'm thinking about this. Ears. This is how I sketch things. I make blobs until they they resemble something. I'm pretty sure that's standard for most artists. Actually, that's not true because there's this one guy who does like huge ink murals and he just kind of fucking draws things. There's like no sketch behind it. He just. Crepe thoughts. Crepe thoughts would be very delicious, actually. I like how everybody in this party is wearing a cape. Hey man, they didn't get the memo from that lady from The Incredibles. Okay. No capes! No capes. I should create a giant tornado. <laughs> you should. <laughs> because, you Dragon know... Dragonlark is like, hmm, how can I use this? You sound awake. Alright, who's watched Strange Things? Oh, I haven't Strange yet. So I've seen the first episode. Oh my god, you guys hurry up so we can talk about it. Talk about it, talk about it, talk about it, talk about it. Let's see what else then. Um, I'm gonna quickly realize I haven't watched like anything forever. Um, days of our lives. No. Um, oh, you didn't. Oh, we're not actually. I'm like such a huge <laughs> fan. You're not watching my stories. How dare you? Ah. War Portal is a poor guy. He just had. Huh? Too many sword people in this channel. If everyone has a sword, does that does that make her a sword artist online? Oh my god, Campator. Identifier. <laughs> ah. Ah, that hurt me pretty deeply. What little soul she's got left, uh... What little... I have very little soul. Ain't got much. Cause you're little. So I've had cheap thrills stuck in my head for like, weeks now. And I can't... I just heard that for the first time the other day and I didn't really like it. And I've been sing- I love the song, but it's like I've- I've been singing it to like other lyrics of like, I ain't got whatever. <laughs> And, uh, nah, 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 and I'm just like, I need to stop. And then I heard it down in down in San Diego because one of the outdoor booths was playing. And I'm like, it's following me. I can't get away. I am not going to have time to finish this one. I can already tell. It's not happening. Havel Dodd is not happening today. You started on it, that's what matters. I don't like tree branches and shit, cause... I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. I don't know what's going on. Oh man. Alright, I'm gonna draw the most amazing face of. has ever been seen. Is it. is it the. 
most amazingness. This is what how well that looks like now. I feel like that's not an accurate representation. This is it. This is this is life for Hobble Dog now. Wow. Okay, I just can see what you're doing to her character in the live stream. And then that's how, and that's the story of how I died. <laughs> God, you can still see the face in here, but I'm always gonna be able to see the face. It'll be with you forever. Are you providing the uh, background? Background music? It's too quiet. It's uncomfortably it's... quiet. You're uncomfortably quiet. What are you talking about? I'm over here meowing. Uncomfortably quiet meowing. Wow, the perspective on the from the camera with your pencil top right in the camera is so like 3D unnerving. I don't know what you're talking about. You're just trying to freak some people out. Here somewhere. Oh, this is probably going to be finished next week. Next week on Make Stuff Monday. Next week. Oh man, so. <laughs> sorry, I just remembered. So, my friend's dressed as Krillin and Android 18 from Dragon Ball Z. And we passed. <laughs> We passed a hotel that is pineapple themed, alright? Pineapple themed hotel, and it was called Hotel Z. <laughs> and I was like, next, on the next episode of Hotel Z, Krillin takes a nap. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, though, like, like, that was the strangest thing I have. It like, was bizarre. Like, seriously, like, pineapple themed. Pineapple. Like, who looked at that and said, you know, what was the favorite thing I saw at Comic-Con? Uh, I'm a huge Supernatural fan, and I actually made it to Hall H to see their panel, so that is hands down the best thing that has happened to me, because I was not expecting to get in at all. I didn't do any of the, the line con waits for it. I actually rolled in like an hour and a half, two hours before the panel started, and I'm like, I guess we'll try. I don't think this is going to happen, but... uh. But let's see. Let's see if I get lucky. Let's see if the uh, universe universe likes me. Um, there was a really cool Reaper statue from Overwatch at the Blizzard booth, and I was very saddened when they actually swapped it out for they swapped it out for Illidan. And I don't know if they ever swapped it back to. Reaper. Like, do you say you weren't prepared? I was. I, I, I made that joke. I was like, I was not prepared for the swap. <laughs> like over there, and, and my husband was like, I hate you. <laughs> I had to make the joke. I yeah, had to. obviously. How could I not? Um. Ah, shoot, I lost my train of thought. Favorite <laughs> thing at Comic Con. Honestly, it was. That's, that was my very first Comic-Con. I was very, very, very overwhelmed. Um, I really want to go next year, and I've got a better idea of how I want to do it next year. So having a hotel there definitely helps. See, I felt like I should have seen more cosplayers, and like I did see a lot of cosplayers, but I thought it would be like more cosplayers. Uh, it was fun when when people were asking me, like, oh, what are you dressed as? I'm like, I'm, I'm Diva from Overwatch. And that was, that was kind of a blast that people 
because people were asking, like, I was on the trolley, and they're like, oh, you look, you look adorable, I'm like, thanks! Um, yeah, your costume was awesome. Thank you. It was also very, very, very warm. I am surprised I'm not actually dead. Like, I'm, I'm actually surprised I'm not dead. I tried well, you to- You had Doritos to keep you safe. <laughs> That bag of Doritos was the heaviest bag of Doritos. My biceps were sore the next day from carrying it around. Oh my god. For like eight hours. Like, the next, I, when I got home that Yay. night, that first night I I cosplayed, this, I was just in bed. I was just like, I can't move. I can't move anymore. I can't do anything. I can't function. I just, I can't, like my back, my shoulders, my biceps, my arms, my forearms, like all of that was just... It's kind of burning a whole lot. <laughs> don't don't laugh. Dem Doritos, though. It's a heavy burden to carry. It is. It was worth it, though. It was a lot. It was a lot of fun having that. Um. Yeah, if you're gonna ever go, try to go, and you just want to see Exhibition Hall, go preview night or go Thursday. Because after that, it just gets more and more and more impossible to walk around. I was gonna kill someone. No, I wasn't. Well, yeah, I was. Yeah, I was. I'm not gonna lie. It was... It was a lot of fun, though. Um, I saw a comedy show while I was down there, which was free, and somehow... It was free. I'm not even sure how, but it was. I live in the dream. Sometimes the universe gives you free comedy shows. And sometimes they want you to line up at like 6 in the morning for a chance to get an autograph. No. That's what I said. I'm like, no. wait, you're telling me, like, if it was like, okay, guaranteed first 200 people get something, I'd be like, alright, I'll try. But if it's like, alright, Six in the clock in the morning, so you have to get there by five, probably. And only, maybe? No. Maybe you might get to get what you want. No. So, yeah, it was... Ain't nobody kind of, got time for that. That was kind of bulls. I feel like I didn't see a lot of stuff about movies. Like, as much stuff about movies. Yeah. Maybe I just wasn't, like, stalking the right stuff. Like, I know there was a trailer for... Guardians of the Galaxy 2, but it still hasn't been, like, shown outside of Comic-Con. What I find kind of upsetting is, like, so much of the- like, they say, like, not to record and blah blah blah, but so much of that stuff just comes out, like, the day after. Yeah. It kind of- kind of kills the magic. I mean, there is magic in being there as it unfolds. Yeah. For sure. But it's also kind of ex upsetting, and I'm glad I didn't, like, well, I wasn't one of the people who had waited, you know, like, hours. To see something because, and then to see it released online like two hours later. Well, as far as I know, the the Guardians of the Galaxy one is still like locked down. I haven't seen it anywhere. Um, it's only a matter of time, though, which is I'm sure. Which is the upsetting part, but yeah, I would definitely do Comic Con again. I think I kind of want to make that my my go to. Like, I loved I loved. I loved you once Anime Expo, but you just don't have the resources to manage your... You've leveled up to you, Comic-Con. I've leveled up to Comic-Con. And it's nice because they're really, like, even though they do yell at you a bit, like, get in line, like, you gotta get in line like this, and two by two, or one by one. Mm -hmm. At least they know to do that, instead of like, here, just go. Like, this is where your line is, line, I'll air quote, I'll air quote on the camera, Li line. <laughs> is supposed to be, and then it's just like a herd of people, I would rather have them yell at me and keep the line moving as quickly as I can, instead of just a blob of people. If that makes any sense at all. Yeah, I just, they're more organized. They, it, it was lovely that they had the resources. Also, I saw some people who reminded me of Veritas, like, had the similar kind of head. I'm like, is she here? Is she here this weekend? I was like, and I was like, always 10 seconds, and I'm like, hey! Oh, no, that's not you. Oh. Oh, wait. That's right. <laughs> it was very weird. And it was very weird running into people I knew in a sea of hundreds of thousands of people. It's like, wait, I can't even, 
I haven't even seen you for like years, but like here, here is where I find you. <laughs> but it was, it was a blast. It was nice that there were so many like food things that were conveniently nearby as well. Oh, I'm sure. I mean, they were completely fucking, whoops, packed, freaking packed. Wait, it's Monday, it's fine. It's fine, right? <laughs> I'm like, like, I'm like, I'm, yeah. It's fine. It's Monday. But, uh. This is kind of cool, right? It's 105. Whoa, that's creepy. It's 105. Mark. Well, then, since we started at 105, this is about uh, as close as I'm getting for. Oh, uh, he's so sad now. Uh, Buttercup's back there trying to kill herself. Uh, I mean, I creepy looks somewhat cute, and I mean, the thing that I was gonna make cute looks so creepy. Is there anything I can show? So, this is Howl Dodd, will be Howl Dodd, Howl Dodd. And here is the creepy cute ghoul child. You're a creepy cute ghoul child. I am, actually. I am. This actually probably won't be next week. This will probably be the week after. And then this is the meet me thing. Yeah, meet me. Look how cute this is. I don't want to fight this. I don't want to encounter with this thing. Don't you want to catch it? I do catch it. Wait, <laughs> I need a pokeball. Someone help! I've just got this pouring. <laughs> it counts. It totally does not count. Anyways. Anyway, thank you for joining us this week. We'll be back with next week. Do I have anything to do next week? No. I don't. Oh, I think there's at least one more. We haven't gotten high dollar characters description yet. Okay. So probably next week I'll be finishing up Hobble Dodd, Hobble Dodd. And then after that will be whatever someone throws at me to draw, I guess. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Have a lovely day.